hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is property sue if you're new here and i do videos on real estate and real estate related matters and today i have a very interesting topic it's about red flags to look out for while house hunting i know some people don't like house hunting but i do it for a living so i can give you a few pointers here and there on what to look out for while house hunting so let's get into the video the very first red flag is smell and sight of mold and if you want to know a moldy house make sure you open all the all the drawers especially in the kitchen in the bedrooms and sniff use your sense of smell because if you smell mold probably at this point it's not showing because the house is probably new it has a new coat of paint but with time things will start catching up with you when mold starts showing up on your clothes so use your sense of smell inside the cabinets if you see any sight of mold then that house is moldy and you should not live in a moldy house because of very many health reasons and also aesthetic reasons you don't want to live in a moldy house the second red flag is lifted paint any lifted paint on a house wall is a sign of dampness it's a sign that the wall is wet for whatever reasons be it leaks be it uh, probably that the house did not dry well during construction either one of those but eventually wet walls lead to mold and cracks and that is something you should avoid number three is unkept common areas for example you go to a place and then you find that the dress is dry the, the dress is dry the flowers are dry the compound is is littered and if that is the kind of image they maintain in in the compound imagine the other areas like the corridors the lifts and everything if any of these areas is not well kept is not clean the loans are not manicured the kids play area is not clean kindly avoid such houses because you're definitely going to have problems in future the other one is strange smells inside the house and also outside the house and such smells maybe inside the house could be caused by plumbing mistakes or probably the sewage line is not done very nicely and smells like those outside the home could be a sign that maybe the area in which you you're looking into is polluted and trust me if you, you can smell a polluted area during the day it's going to be worse at night because if you live in industrialized towns you obviously know that factories emit gases mostly during the night so if you can smell it during the day that's a very very big red flag and you don't want to live there again health issues are going to follow you and also who wants to live in a place that smells bad anyway another one is cracks in the foundation i'm sure most of you are asking but how do i know that the foundation has cracks well nowadays most apartments usually have uh, basement parking or sometimes you find that the ground floor is parking and then houses start from the first floor so go to that basement parking go to that first floor parking and observe check if there are any cracks if it's a standalone house that one is easy to detect because you're just going to look at the exterior other one is houses near busy roads and if you have never lived in a house near a busy road then you don't know how traumatizing that is because you're going to experience noise pollution you're going to experience air pollution and your house is supposed to feel homely comfortable it's a place where you come back and relax it's supposed to be silent but if you have cars uh, passing by the whole night and most kenyan roads especially highways you're going to find that cars are in operation between 4 a.m to 12 a.m and uh, trust me you don't want to live near a busy road the other one is a house near a railway and that is also very noisy each time there's a train passing most probably your house is going to shake a bit slight tremors and also the noise and it also depends on how many times the train passes by your house so you should also avoid houses near railway stations another important thing to look out for is 
many vacant houses especially in an apartment complex or in a gated community that is not new because if many people are moving out there must be a reason for that so be on the lookout for that last but definitely not least you should investigate where the house you're going to move into has water shortage problems and how you know this is number one by obviously looking if the taps are running or not and the second way is by looking at how much water storage your neighbors have in areas where there's water shortages most people fill up their balconies with berry cans with uh, small tanks so you'll definitely know and water shortage is the worst problem you can encounter when living in any area that is at least for me most of the times i prefer running water and i know most of you prefer running water so be on the lookout for that generally in conclusion you should uh, pay attention to the small details the small details matter a lot and they might cost you remember before you move into a house nowadays they require you to pay two months deposit and the rent and if you're moving out most of the times they don't give you back your deposit let's just be real most kenyan landlords don't give back your deposits and so it's good to get value for your money from the jump move into a place that you at least know you're going to be comfortable and that you're going to live for a relatively long time because guys moving is expensive let us all admit it nobody wants to move every other month and just don't be desperate if you have somebody showing you houses they'll probably be hurrying you up telling you this is the last house houses are scarce in this area trust me don't pay attention to that let house hunting take you as long as it takes you and uh, just make sure you find a good house a house where you're going to enjoy your time there a house where you're going to get value for your money and a house where you will not be in a hurry to move out and that is it for today i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it with your friends who are probably house hunting and also subscribe to this channel it's free all it does is just notify youtube that you love seeing such kinds of videos and until next time it has been me your girl property sue and bye feel the daylight on our skin we are young we feel everything it's starting to begin